Hello, Marielos, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? I'm good, and you? Fine, thank you. How was your day today? Um, so tired. <laughs> a little, a little tired. Me too. Today was a it was a normal day for me, but I feel tired. I don't know why. Yes, it's like me. It's, I don't know. <laughs> yes. So what you live in Santa Ana, right? Yes. And you work in Santa Ana. Yes, but the traffic in Santa Ana is is bad too. Horrible. Yes, it's bad. It's a, a little town, but too much. Uh, but you know what? One thing I remember, I remember a lot about Santa Ana is that the streets are very narrow. Yes. Yes. It's very, very narrow. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, okay. What do you, Where what do you do? live? I don't uh, remember. Do you know El Paso del Jaguar? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. I live yes. near there. Near there, okay. Yeah, it's called Vista Hermosa. But if Vista. you're from Santana, maybe you don't know, but it, but Paso del Jaguar, you know. Yes. What What do you think the problem is with the traffic? In Santana? No, or... in El Salvador in general. Uh, I think that uh, there are many cars. Yes, there's too many cars. Yes. I I think the problem is that all these people that bring cars from the United States. Yes. 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 I was reading that I think like 10,000 cars come every every month. How many? I How many think cars? I don't remember, but I think it's like 10,000 cars. Wow. But in the year, in the year, I think it's like, it's more than 100,000 cars that come in. I think the government should regulate that. Yes. But it's a good business for the government too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, that. because you have to pay, you have to pay um, taxes yeah. on that. Taxes, yes. To the, try to do the cars. Because do you remember like the, the you remember like the year two thousand? Maybe the the traffic, the big big traffic started after two thousand ten. Yes. Well, in San Salvador, because I remember the two thousands, it was still normal. There was a lot of traffic, but it was okay. It was like normal traffic. Yes. There's Milton and his. Um, Hi, teacher. Like, good hello. evening. Good evening. How are you? How sir? are you? I'm good. And you? Yeah, fine. Fine. Very, very nice. Text to Feel. That's your company, right? Text to Feel. Yes, my company. What does it mean? Text to feel? Yes, what does that mean? Um, it's a text, text, the textile. Text, feel, filamento. Okay. Textura y filamento. Okay, okay, good, okay. Good, it makes sense. Good, all right. And you are a manager there, correct? Uh, me? Yes. Uh, I'm a, a salesman. Your sales, oh, okay. Yes, yes. And I remember you have worked there for many, many, many years, correct? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, 20, 25 years. 25 years. So in the Christmas bonus, do you get the complete salary? 
<laughs> yes, yes, he is he, he's a, he's a, a full salary for, for months. For one month is the same uh, finally in Christmas. Yeah, um, yeah, because that's that's the law, correct? That I think after 11 years or something. Yeah, after no. 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 But it's it's a good company, is the pay is the pay or salary is salary. the same? Yeah, but it's actually formal, more formal is the salary. The salary, the salary is is it's good. It's good. It's good for me. And it's in Soyapango, right? Yes, yes, Soyapango. Where about, is Soyapango? About 50 years ago. Okay. Did you watch the soccer game today? Okay, yes. Man, that yeah. was oh Lewandowski is. Yes. Five five to one. Five to one. Yes. Lewandowski and Dembele are devils. Yes, yes, is a good a good thing. Yeah, they the, have a for, the forward. Yes, they do have a good team. All right. So, class, how are you? Everything good? Yes, teacher. Anything, yes, teacher. anything right. new? Is there anything new? Any questions? No, teacher. Thanks. Man, it's hot. Did it rain today by near your house? No. It didn't rain? Only in my, near my house. Here it did here it did rain a little. Um, I have a question. Marielos, how is Santa Ana? How is the weather? Is it hot? Normal? Is it cool? Oh, it's hot. Too hot. Really? So all of El Salvador is hot, basically, right? Yes, but in Santa Ana I, I, it's hot. But it's not like San Miguel hot. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Uh, sometimes I travel to Ilovasco, Cabañas, and I think, I feel that is, is, uh, Santa Ana is hotter than Ilovasco. Really? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. I wouldn't imagine that. Okay. All right, so let's let me share the. Yesterday we did something like it was called "How typical are you?" I remember. Hold on, let me. Do you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, we're going to do a listening. Do you think Yoshiko, Renato, and Suzanne believe they are more typical or different from most people their age? Right besides their name, whether they are different or typical. Do not use capital letters or period. Let's see. Do you think Yoshiko, you Renato, and Suzanne yes. believe they are more typical or different from most people their age? 1. Yoshiko In some ways, small ways, I'm just a typical Japanese teenager. I go to high school five days a week, just like everyone else. I have interests similar to most of my friends. A bunch of us join the sports club at school. Right now, it's our volleyball season. When the weather gets nicer, we will start track. And oh yeah, I love hip hop music. It drives my parents crazy. There's one big way I'm different though. I spent almost six years living outside Japan. My father's company transferred him overseas to Mexico. And of course we went with him. Fitting into a foreign culture was really tough at first. 
but I guess I'm lucky in the way. I learned to speak Spanish fluently, and I made a lot of good friends there. We still email each other almost every day. So you can see that I'm really quite a bit different from my classmates. 2. Renato I don't know. My life is pretty typical, I think. I head off to school at 7 in the morning, and school finishes around the middle of the afternoon. After school, I usually study or play soccer. On weekends, I like to get together with my friends. We usually hang out in one of the shopping centers. Everyone just shows up there on Saturdays and Sundays. It's a lot of fun. Most of the time. I think one way I'm kind of different is that I like to, to do my own thing sometimes. I don't always want to hang out with the group, you know? My friends always want me to hang out with them, but I don't always listen to what they say. I guess you could say that I think for myself. Sometimes it makes my friends upset, but too bad. That's just the way I am. But really overall, I think I'm pretty typical for my age. 3. Suzanne mm, I guess I worry about the same things other kids my age do. You know, grades and getting along with my parents and stuff like that. I guess I'm doing okay in school, but I have to study really hard. I just want to make sure that my grades are good enough so I can get into a decent university. I'm pretty much like everyone else. I go to classes, attend club meetings after school, and then do my homework at night. Weekends are great because I get to sleep late. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm also a member of the orchestra at school. I play the violin. My school is a little different from other schools in the U.S., though. We study all the core subjects like most other students. In the morning, science, math, English, history, the usual stuff. But unlike the other schools, we study things like music, dance, and art in the afternoon. See, I go to a special school for the arts. A lot of us have dreams of becoming dancers or singers someday. That's why we spend so much time learning about the arts. So, yeah, I guess my life is pretty different from most kids my age. Okay, so what do you think? Yoshiko is, is he different or typical? Different. Different. He's different, right? According yeah. to his tradition, to his lifestyle. Renato. Typical. He's typical. typical. Renato is your typical boy. Suzanne? Different. Different. Suzanne is different. All right, cool. We got them. Okay, next it says, in this class, participants will learn and practice using idioms with keep and stay. Do you know what idioms are? Uh, no. Those are a particular expression that uh, normally doesn't mean textually. Exactly, However, yes. Right? Okay. You know, I would just say it's caliche. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. There are some things like, um, I think it was in this class yesterday, somebody said, time runs. I said. Oh, okay, it was on you. Monday. On Monday, yes. el yes. tiempo corre, right? Because that's uh -huh. a Spanish expression. Yes. Now that is, if you try to translate that literally to, the, to English, it doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. You know, time runs, because in English it's time flies. So those are idioms. They're like expressions. Como, al César lo que es de César. That's a Spanish expression. Let me, um, vaya. Vaya pues. <laughs> you know, vaya pues. Can you try, can you do that in English? No, no, but there is there's a synonym. Go, 
Okay, then. Okay. And pues sí. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so in this case, um, I just recommend you to don't worry about it because there's a lot of idioms. <laughs> there's a lot of idioms in Spanish and English. Every language has their own idioms. So if, if sometimes you don't understand, don't don't worry because that's something very proper of that of that language. We're going to learn some right now with keep and stay. Hello, the following expressions will help you express your ideas better. Stay connected, stay awake, keep up with, keep in touch. Expressions with keep and stay. Keep or stay in touch. Keep things in perspective. Stay awake. Keep up with. Keep or stay out of trouble. Keep something up. Keep or stay in touch. Take turns answering these questions. Type your answers on our discussion box. Then talk to your classmates in class. When friends move away, do you keep or stay in touch? When you're stressed, can you keep things in perspective? After studying all night, how do you stay awake in class? Do you ask for help if it is hard to keep up with a class? Do you break the rules or do you keep or stay out of trouble? What can students do to keep their grades up? Is it important for all friends to keep or stay in touch? These questions, type your answer in touch. Okay, let's do one thing. Keep, we understand keep as a verb, right? Yes. What is keep? What about that? Mantener. Mantener. Okay. okay, okay, good. Before we do that, let me give an example. What do you think call off is? Call off. What do you think Colgar. that is? Colgar. Mm -hmm. Yes? Why? Because call off. Cuelga la llamada. Apaga la llamada. Okay. Do you think that that's it? And you know what? No, actually call off is cancel. Uh, well, it's like a colgar? No. No, it has nothing to do with a telephone. Okay. You cancel an event. Yes. Irena, imagine, um, Irena, you're single, correct? Yes, teacher. But you, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, yes. Okay, so imagine you, you're engaged. You understand engaged, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. And you, you're going to get married on Saturday. Mm -hmm. But imagine tomorrow you discover and you see your fiancé kissing another woman. Hmm? <laughs> will you still get married on Saturday or you will call off the wedding? I will cancel or call off. Is yes. correct to say? Can That's, call off the word? That, that is the thing. Call okay. off. Okay. But I can I say cancel? Yes, cancel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Off. Yeah, it's a synonym. Okay. So that, that is what call off is. Okay. Is to cancel something. So what I want you to understand is don't associate when you see. This is, again, una clave, muy importante. When you see a verb and a preposition, that is an item. Okay. Because if you say, I'm going to call my mother, that's a normal call. It's a verb. Mother is a person. It's a noun. So that's normal. That's the verb normal. But if you're going to say, I'm going to call off, hmm, that's strange because call is llamar, off is apagar, so mm -hmm. colgar, no, mm -hmm. nada que ver, it's cancel. So when you see a verb and a preposition, that's, it's really, it has nothing to do with the verb. Okay. Yes. 
Like, let me give you another example. How long? Take. What is take? Uh, tomar. Agarrar. To tomar. take. Tomar. Mm -hmm. You take off. Soltar. Quitar. Soltar. Okay. Quitar. Take, take off your glasses. Okay. Take off your... When you go to the doctors, you take off your clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are, so remember, and I used that take is the verb, off is a preposition. So that's a phrasal verb. It's an item. So here we have keep. Keep or stay in touch. What do you think that is? Uh... In Spanish, is mantenerse eh, comunicado. Yes. O es una forma también cuando ustedes ven a alguien y le dicen, hey, no te perdas. Mm -hmm. It's like saying, hey, keep in touch. Milton, do you have Facebook? Yes. All right. Yes, I do. Nelsi, do you have Facebook? Oh. Just teacher, I have. All right. Does everybody have Facebook? Yes. Mm -hmm. no. Yes. Okay. The reason why I'm asking is, do you know that the majority of users of Facebook are people that are 30 years and over? Do you know why? Because, because uh -huh. tell me. Sorry, teacher. No, go ahead. I think me. it's because uh, there was um, a social network that starts with, uh, I don't know how it's called, old, um, old people. No, it's not old people. Um, High five. <laughs> high five before I, I didn't high, high. I I had high five. Really? Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. No, but the reason why the majority of users of Facebook or this uh, is, is because, uh, like for example, I am over forty, and sometimes I say, "Hey, I remember my friend." ¿Qué habrá pasado? Lo voy a buscar en Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I look yes. for him like Jose Perez. Oh, I bainted, but hey, Jose, hey, ahí está. You know, I haven't seen Jose Perez in 30 years and I find him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow. And then the young people today, since the people, those, those young children today who are born with that technology, for them is something normal. But for us, no, you know, for us, it's like, hey, I, I stay, I keep in touch with my family with my friends and I find my old friends. So it's a good way to keep in touch. Okay. Yeah, Irena, can you ask somebody a question regarding keep in touch? Keep in touch. Let me see. I don't know, teacher. I my brain is blocked. Okay, let me give let me give you an example. Okay. Do you keep uh, or class in general? Do you keep in touch with any of your ex? Uh, me, yes. You do, Nelsie? No, I don't. Uh. <laughs> Who said yes? Uh, me. me teacher. Oh, Irene. So you, you keep in touch with your ex. Yes. And, and this is not necessarily something bad. It's, no. It's your friends. Now. We are we are good friends. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Did you love him? No. Okay, that's not why. anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's kind of difficult to be friends with your ex, but it may is possible. Yes, it depends on the situations. Of course, yes. What about you, Marielos? Do you keep in touch with 
Your high school friends? Uh, yes, I keep in touch. How? How do you keep in touch with them? Through the phone, through social media, physically? Um, by social media. All right. Uh -huh. You have Facebook too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good. What about you, Katya? Do you keep in touch with your friends? I'm sorry, teacher. Do you keep in touch with your ex high school friends? Um, yes, yes. I, I keep uh, communication. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I, we had a meeting so, sometimes. All right, good. Okay, excellent class. So that so we understand keep in touch, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. So next we have keep things in perspective. That's similar in Spanish. Stay. Listen, aquí hay una stay away. What is stay away? Stay I'm sorry, stay awake. Wait, class. Mantente atento. Mantente atento. Oh, mantente despierto. Stay awake. Stay awake. Hay otra con stay. Es stay away. What is stay away? Far to be far. Yes. Can you give me an example then? Far from me. Uh, keep away. And... Stay away. Uh, stay away for me. From, no, stay away from. from, from. from you me. always stay away from. That's the distance. Okay. You can say it like seriously, or you can say it sarcastically, or you can say it hypothetically. Like, for example, stay away from drugs. Seriously? Seriously is... A, hey, stay away from Jose. He has COVID. Okay. Stay right. away from drugs. Stay away from drugs. Okay. That's hypothetical. Yeah. Sarcastically, okay. stay away from my mother. She's angry. <laughs> remember you when remember your brothers or sisters? Hey, stay away from mom. She's angry in this moment. Mm -hmm. My sister, my sister uh, has um, a phrase that says, te quiero, pero lejos de aquí. <laughs> okay, te quiero lejos, yeah. How do you translate that? Okay. I love you, no, it's, no. I love you, stay away from me, no. Yeah, okay, you know, that's a good question because... Te quiero, pero lejos. Mm -hmm. En inglés, te, en español, It's te like quiero. It's like a sarcastic phrase. Yes, phrase. But, but the thing is, te quiero is saying I love you. Mm -hmm. But the verb querer in English is want. So okay. we don't say I want you. No. Entonces, literalmente sí se puede interpretar, pero no va a tener lógica. Mm -hmm. Lo que quizás se puede decir lo más cercano es I love you when you are away from me. Okay. Te amo cuando estás lejos. De... Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, so like, eso, eso haría una película. Te quiero, okay. pero lejos de mí. Okay. And then I love you when you're far away from me because you understand the sarcasm. Yes. But if you say, I want you far from me. Okay. You know, it, it wouldn't make sense, but that's mm -hmm. good. Okay, so stay away. Yes. Okay. Um, every, it, well, or maybe there's danger, you know, like when, when you're cooking and you tell people, hey, stay away from the kitchen. I am cooking in this moment. The kitchen is mine. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Yes. Okay, next, keep up with, keep up. What is keep up? Got the community. Keep up. Look, look here, keep up with, keeping up with the Kurdish dashes. Is it like a to continue? Yes. Aguantar, um, okay, um, ¿quién va al gimnasio? Nobody. Nobody goes to the gym, good, me too, I don't go. <laughs> I, I don't go to the gym me either, but if I go to the gym and my friend goes to the gym, my friend, he goes to the gym regularly. So that means I can't keep up with him. So I can't keep up. This is my friend, this is me. I can't do this. The same, the, the, the same level. Uh-huh. Keep, keep up. up, keep up. Yes, it's like it's like continue. It's like continue, but a magic continue is. Mantener o llegar a nivel de. ¿Cómo le dirías, amigo? Es que no, no puedo, no puedo con vos, pero no puedo con tu rutina. Un ejemplo. Okay, so imagine, imagine my friend tells me, David, let's go to the gym, and I go and I go with him to the gym tomorrow. Y empieza my friend like, like running for. Like 30 minutes and me at five minutes, I'm no more, no more. He's come on. No, no, I can't keep up with you. What what it's did like, I say? It's like follow the rhythm. Exactly. It's like follow the rhythm. All right, so let's keep up with. It's like a move or I don't know. Keep keeping. No, yeah, van a ver. Eh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Have what song? Eminem. Do you know Eminem, the rapper? Yes. Hay una canción que se llama rap. I I don't like. That music, but there's a there's a song from Eminem, que se llama Rap God. Okay. Y hay una parte que él empieza. Creo que es el récord mundial. He says so many words que nadie, nobody can keep up with him. Okay. If you want today after class, listen to that. Se llama Rap God. Pero hay una parte que dice. So, blah, 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 blah. And he's saying real words, but he's saying them so fast that you can't keep up with. Okay. Había, había un chiste que decía: nadie, nadie puede superar a Eminem con Rap God. Menos. Menos. Una gente rezando, la gente que se pone a rezar de. Bueno, no se rezan, no se los santificados, ya tu nombre es. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. But you can't keep up with. Yes. Um, it can be something good or bad. Imagine. Um, I'll give you an example. Sometimes I have friends from work and we go out. I only drink maybe three or four beers. That's it. But when I drink one beer, my friend or my coworkers, they drink three. Like, and they say, come on, David. So no, I can't keep up with you. I can't. And I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe when I was 20, yes, but now no. So I can't keep up with you. So what do you think keep up with is? 
Eso es lo que les explico. Como es, como es algo caliche, que no existe en español, hay, no, hay, no hay una traducción correcta, pero hay un sinónimo. No puedo competir contigo. Algo sí. Así. Uh -huh. No puedo con vos. <risa> Vaya. <risa> Keeping, por eso el show se llama Keeping Up with the Kardashians. El show, porque quién, quién aguanta el estilo de vida de ellas. Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Keep out. Keep out is the same as stay away. Stay away. Keep out of trouble. And then stay in touch, keep in touch, okay? Um, vamos a hacer mañana una clase solo de, de phrasal verbs, de lo más comunes que hay. Yes? Para que hay miles y miles y cada vez se van a hacer más y más, pero vamos a usar los más comunes. Por ejemplo, este, call back, call off, fill up. Do you know what is fill up? No. Do you know what is fill? Some fill. Like no, no, feeling? No, F I L L, feel. Feel. Eh, to complete? Llenar? Llenar. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. De ahí viene el re... formulario. De ahí viene la palabra refill. Mm -hmm. Refill. Is that fill up? I was like, oh my God, I don't have gas. I need to fill up the tank. Fill like, up. Like, like we say in Spanish, fuliar el tank. El tank. Fuliar, exacto. Fuliar, yes. <laughs> fuliar. Y también puede ser como, I get filled up with four pupusas. Nah, maybe with five. With four pupusas, I am full. But with five, I'm filled up. Tope. Okay, and then we have. Oh, eso se quedó bastante con keep and stay. So we understand keep, right? Yes. Let's do one thing. Let me see. Um, okay, we have keep. Let's do keep up. What is keep up? Keep up is to stay. Okay. Keep up is to, to take the same level with another, who is another a, person. Yes. Who is a boss in your in your job? Who is a boss or a supervisor? I am. Jose, you're a supervisor or a boss. I am. I am, I am a boss. Okay. When somebody is doing a good job and you tell them, hey, Pedro, Good job. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Literalmente. That, that keep... continue with, with her. Exactly. Uh -huh. so, or, or job. so, yeah, so keep up. Manténgalo aquí arriba lo que está haciendo. Okay, yes. Continue. Keep up the good work. So that, that's an expression. Hey, good job. Keep up the good work. Okay. That is keep up, is to continue. Next, we have keep on. I'm gonna keep on loving you. That is, is continue too. And yes, keep on is literally, literally continue. Teacher. Yes. What's the difference between keep on and, and go on? Keep on and go on? Yeah. 
Okay. It's the same. It's similar. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But I will explain. I will explain. So right now, keep on is continue. For example, uh, imagine, hey, yes, on a cinco, let's go. Um, bye, bye, and say, I'm, I'm going to keep on working. Me voy a quedar trabajando. Mm -hmm. Voy a continuar trabajando. Okay. Eso cae mal, ¿verdad? Cuando todo el grupo se va y le, y le dicen adiós al supervisor. Adiós, jefe. <laughs> ah, adiós, váyanse. Yo, yo me voy a quedar aquí, voy a seguir trabajando. <laughs> Do you need okay, help? Good night. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need help? Si quieren, me ayuda. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Okay. Good job. Keep up the good work. Por eso, jefe. <laughs> okay. Keep on. Marielos, give me an example with keep on. Keep on. <sighs> Dígame esta, dígame esta expresión, pero sin, sin ningún, sin ningún comentario si le gusta o no, pero dígale, por lo visto es probable que Bukele va a seguir siendo presidente. Ok. Can you tell me that expression? Okay, it's probably to Bukele keep on being president. Yeah, will keep on being president. Will keep on. Will keep on being president. Okay. Good. Yes. There's a big probability that Bukele will keep on being president. Okay. Yes. It's probably that I keep on uh, studying English. <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah. Hey, excellent. Sarita, I haven't heard you today. Give me an example. Keep on. What happens if your interview goes bad Thursday? Tomorrow's your interview, Sara. No, 26. Okay, what happens if your interview goes bad? Okay, I... I will keep on... In my English class? I will keep on. I need a verb. I I will keep on I trying. Will, I will keep on studying. I will I keep will, on. Okay. I will start and keep on my English class. No, I will keep on studying my English class. I will keep um, studying my English class. Exactly, yes. Or if my... I have a question. Yes. Um, the very after the um, keep on. Yes. Yes, the verb All is the after. All the time. Yes. Um, okay. In this case, yes. Hold on, let me let me okay. let me see if I can find something that is going to be interesting for you. One second, class. Le voy a mandar algo. Hold on, class. Do you have, are you in the WhatsApp group? Yes. 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 Okay, hold on. I'm going to send you something in this moment. Yeah, hasta ahorita estoy viendo los WhatsApp. Mireli, <laughs> teacher, have an issue. Okay. 
I will send you something. This is this is when you if you ever have an interview in English. This is what you should say. Do you see it? Yes. yes. Usually those are the questions they always ask you when you go to an interview. Why should I hire you? Tell me about yourself. What are your weaknesses? Aquí es lo, don't say and do say. That's something good to practice when you have the time. Yes, <laughs> of course. All right. So, um, so remember, if if it doesn't go if if it doesn't go well, then what you should do is keep on studying, keep on doing it, keep on trying. Okay. Okay. All right, next we have stay. Okay, lo que se me viene a la mente ahorita es, uh, vamos a hacer uno, stay up. What is stay up? Estar como estar arriba. Okay, maybe. Sergio Herrera, why are you why why are your eyes very little? Imagine imagine it's eight in the morning. It's eight in the morning and your son had fever all night. So I am your boss and I tell you, hey, why is your face like that? What will you tell me? Um, my son has been sick all the night. Oh, so you stayed up all night. Yeah, I had to be stayed awake almost all the night taking care of my kid. I stayed up all night. Yeah. I, st I stayed up all night. I stayed awake. I stayed up. Es, I stayed up. Eso es lo que quiere decir. I stayed up. Oh, I stayed up. All night. All night. Y no necesariamente tiene que decir casi toda la noche. Uno da a entender lo que quiere decir. Ah, okay. me, quedé, me quedé despierto toda la noche. Literalmente sabemos que es imposible porque quizás durmió una hora o dos. Lo que uno quiere dar a entender cuando dice eso realmente es que no dormí lo que debería de. Ok. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, um, solo que se ha ido de parranda, like, oh man, I stayed up all night. <laughs> so in this case, yeah, you say, look, I'm sorry. Um, my son, my son got sick last night and, uh, I stayed up all night. Oh, okay. Is your son okay? So that is stay up. It's, it's only for that. Yes. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel, hello. You look like a very good, clean-cut person. Oh, yes, teacher. Do you know what is a clean cut? Uh, clean uh, cut? Clean cut, yeah, clean cut. Oh, clean cut. Yes, um, clean cut. Uh, cut, I don't know, teacher. Okay, who can give me an example of what is clean cut? Uh, clean cut. My, 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 is, uh, for, 
Uh, who do you say? Wait, I, I have a question for you, Miguel Angel. You have a daughter, correct? Yes, yes. How old is she? My my daughter? Mm -hmm. is, my daughter in the high is... No, how old is she? She's 14, I think, you told me. How old is she? 14, 15, 20? Oh, the age. How old? Uh, 14 years. 14, okay. I'm sorry, excuse me. Will you permit her to have a boyfriend in the future? No, teacher, I, I have uh, one daughter uh, and only. No, no, but my question is, your daughter in the future, will yes. you permit her to have a boyfriend? Yeah, teacher, in, okay. in, ten, in 10 years. In 10 years, okay. Yes. Imagine, imagine if she comes home, she tells you, Father, yes, tomorrow I will bring my boyfriend to dinner. I want you to meet my boyfriend. I had boy cyanuro is oh, in the water. I'm sorry? Sorry, it's, it's, I, uh, it's, uh, it's a problematic. Uh, I could imagine. I'm That's why I am so happy I have a son. <laughs> but imagine, imagine, imagine. It says, Father, tomorrow I will bring a friend to dinner. And you, you're a man, you know. Okay, huh? you're okay. Bring your friend. You know no. inside, inside you. Yes. I don't dinner here, teacher. <laughs> uh, he said, he's, uh, he said, uh, I, you know, he put the anuro. <laughs> What is cyanuro? It's a poison. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's my hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could yeah, imagine. <laughs> no, but but okay, but my question I is okay. It's an idea. No, I know, I know. I, I understand you. But imagine, okay, so that day comes and then your your daughter comes with this with this boy. This boy who has yellow hair, tattoos on his face, y lo saluda así, yo. I like Nadal. <laughs> yeah, like Nadal. Uh, Sorry, como todos salen así en la foto. No, como salen. This is not Mara's conste, pero. Uh -huh. So imagine the first impression of that boy. Uh, it's terrible. Miguel yes. asked him if those tattoos are drawing or are ink. <laughs> I don't know his color <laughs> because sometimes I maybe. maybe I, I, no, I would be very sarcastic. Hey, what happened to your face? Oh, they're tattoos. Really? <laughs> No, okay, but okay, so the first impression. Now imagine mm -hmm. it's someone like Sergio Herrera. Vean a Sergio Herrera 10 años menor. Con ese mismo look. Who would you prefer to date your daughter class? Sergio or the Daddy Yankee? <laughs> Sergio. <laughs> Why? Because Sergio has a clean oh, money. <laughs> Is, Bad Bunny, yes. <laughs> because Sergio has a... It's a, 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 a boy conservator. That, that is clean cut. Oh, clean cut is all... Okay. Yes. So Sergio has a clean cut image. Clean like a, a clean haircut, very well shaved, oh. very educated. It's just clean cut. It's like clean a cut pulcro. Is, oh... Uh -huh. He looks decent. Buena presentación. Clean yeah, cut. buena presentación. Eso es clean cut. Okay. okay. Thank you, Chico. No, Eso no importa en call centers, ¿verdad, Sara? Y uno va como quieren. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uno va a, a, a las entrevistas en sandalias and shorts. Like. No, but uh, nowadays it's impossible. Because uh, some call center, 
has a uh, has a profile and the uh, yeah where's a presentable person oh okay formal the formal person yeah okay good okay but do you understand what clean cut is yes yes teacher now it is okay now yes, now teacher. yes so why why did i mention clean cut because I said, Miguel, you look like a clean cut person. What was, what, what, I forgot why the origin of clean cut. Oh, yes, yes, I remember now. Miguel, you are a clean cut person. You look like a clean cut person. Can you give me mm -hmm. advice? What should I stay away from? Class, did you understand my example? Yes. I don't yes. understand the question. <clears throat> okay, the, the, the situation is, I think Miguel is a clean cut person. So I think he's a very good human with a uh, very responsible and I need good direction in my life. I need a good, a good advice. So I want to ask Miguel, what should I stay away from? Remember what stay away is, right? Yes. yes. So what should I stay away from, Mia? Um, stay, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> find me fears for, how about, how do you say, presupuesto or in your person? And uh, do you have a, a curly hair, uh, the mustache? I don't have mustache. No, 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 but I, I want you to give me an advice. <laughs> okay, but I'll, I'll come back to you. Who understands me and who can give me an advice? Tell me to stay away from something. Sergio, stay, Mil Arielo, somebody? Stay you away from stay, You okay. should stay away from alcohol, for example. Okay, stay away from alcohol. Repeat. Sergio, repeat, please. You should stay away from alcohol. Good. Why? Uh, because it's too bad for health. Very good. Maritza, what was your example? Stay away from cigarettes okay, for good. the same reason. Okay, very good. Anybody else? Sorry. He is stay away with a uh, gun. <laughs> from guns? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Or another very important thing, you should stay away from bad company. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> yes, stay away from losers. <laughs> no, stay away from bad people, from bad company. Yes. Don't try to fit in if they're bad people. It's not necessary to fit in. Just stay away from bad, bad friends. All right, that is stay away from. Don't stay up every night. <laughs> hey, that's good too. Don't stay up every night watching TikTok. Mm -hmm. TikToks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some, some people is very addictive. Some people at night, they stay up all night watching TikToks. Yes. And last the next day in the morning, they say I stay up all night long. All night doing long. What? Doing what? Watching TikTok. Oh, I have insomnia. No, listen, I can't sleep. I am mm -hmm. stressed. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. <laughs> Turn off your cell phone. <laughs> yes. 
turn off your cell phone or read a good book. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's what I recommend. Yes. Okay, class. Thank you very much. I, um, tomorrow we will do a, a little conversation. I'm, I'm going to look for the most popular words like today, like keep up, stay up, go with, so we can practice them tomorrow. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you. okay. Good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Good, Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.